What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. The PlayStation 3 was the most popular home video game console from Sony. If you miss playing your favorite PlayStation 3 games such as Lumens, Metal Gear Solid or Final Fantasy, don't worry as you can still enjoy these games using your computer. All you need to do is set up the RPCS3 emulator on your PC or laptop. In this video, we will learn how to play PS3 games on a PC and laptop by the help of RPCS3 emulator. Guys, I'm not kidding and this is definitely not a clickbait. I hope you can see I'm playing PlayStation 3 games on my computer. For your kind information, RPCS3 is available on Windows, Linux as well as Mac operating system. It's a completely free to use emulator with high definition and 60 FPS. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to set up the RPCS3 emulator settings and best configuration, control customization and how to install ROMs on the RPCS3 emulator. It's a complete tutorial so watch the full video carefully. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. Before starting, I would like to say that we will need three elements in total such as RPCS3 emulator, PlayStation 3 firmwares and ROMs or game files. Fear not because I will show you in this video how and where I get these files. At first, we will download the RPCS3 emulator on our computer. So open the browser on your PC or laptop then type in the URL bar rpcs3.net. I will leave the direct link in the description. Let's go ahead and head over to the link and click on the download button at the top bar. You will find all the operating system. You can see that RPCS3 is available on Windows, Mac OS as well as Linux operating system. You can see its current version here. So download the emulator according to your operating system. I'm going to install it on my Windows machine. So I'm clicking on the download button below the Windows section. Immediately the file will start downloading the size of the file is just 28 megabytes once the download finishes we need to extract the file because it comes in a zip format if you don't have any zip extractor on your pc or laptop you can download the 7 zip software which is a reliable and free zip extractor check a description for the link now right click on the zip file and go to the 7 zip then extract the file here once it's done extracting you will get a folder containing all your extracted files you can delete the zip file now open the extracted folder you will see few files are there but we need just one file which is named rpcs3 double click on it to launch the rpcs3 installer if you would like to create a desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut then check both of these boxes then check i have read the quick start guide if you don't want to see this note again then also check does not show again and click on the continue button guys we are in the rpcs3 emulator before adding any games first we need to install the playstation 3 firmware without this rpcs2 emulator won't let us play any games to download the firmware open the browser on your computer then type on the search bar playstation 3 firmwares on the search results just open the following link here actually playstation is going to provide us the firmware file click on the download ps3 update if it's not responding then right click on it and open a new tab this time it will start downloading the system software now go back to the rpcs3 emulator click on the file which is at the top corner we click on install firmware it will open the file manager now navigate to the folder where you have saved the firmware in my case i saved on the desktop so select the file and open it within a few seconds it will say successfully installed after that it will start compiling ppu modules and it will take three to five minutes to complete the process here we are almost ready to install games but there are a couple of things we still need to do configure go to the config button at the top bar the very first thing we are going to do is go into the cpu settings only thing we are going to change under additional settings enable sp 
you loop this will improve the performance but sometimes it reduce cpu uses under the section of gpu you can set renderer as vulkan or opengl i prefer to use vulkan if you have graphics card then you should select vulkan and if you don't have any graphics card then use opengl for isotopic filter we are going to boost 8 and this will make our gameplay look a lot better now for the default resolution we are not going to change leave it at 720 because we are not going to increase the default resolution instead we are going to increase the resolution scale if we move this left to right he will see that 150 percent is a 1080p 200 percent is 1440 and 300 percent is 4k my suggestion is please use the native display resolution of your monitor my monitor is a 1440p so i'm selecting 200 percent suppose if you are running your games at 1440p or 4k and you are noticing shutter and lags then you need to dial it to back 1080p or 720p here other options are not necessary to change let's go to the bottom and hit the apply then click on save button let's configure controls by clicking on pairs button at the top bar you can see at the top layer one two three seven are actually for different controls the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just to put your desired keys in the control but i found the default keys to be perfect if you have controller you can connect it by using the input device when you are all done with that go ahead click on the save button now back to the main screen so guys uh, finally we are going to install games on the rpcs3 emulator so we need roms or game files before downloading any game or roms we need to check the compatibility game list that means which games are playable on rpcs3 emulator on the rpcs3 official website they have released a compatibility game list here you can see green mark playable games if you want to play any game from this list just to select a game then open a new tab write the game name for example dragon ball z then write ps3 rooms so we have to download the ps3 rooms of that game sorry to say i can't share any direct links here due to the youtube community guidelines so you can join our discord server for more information click on the file again then click on add games now select the game file from your file manager it will I'll take few seconds to complete the installation after that you can see the game on the game library just to tap on the game or click on the play button it will start running playstation 3 games on rpcs3 emulator surprisingly the rpcs3 emulator runs games very smoothly decent fps and graphics quality also good please like and subscribe to our channel join our discord server for any type of help no more today see you in the next video take care